Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Where'd you go with that? I can't follow her. You're supposed to stay in harmony. Oh. I mean, on melody. And then I. Get off melody. What are you doing on melody? Uh, mm. All right. Hey, guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Thanks, Marcus, for singing that. He's sitting across from me, but he's not dressed appropriately to come on camera. So he just oh. sang from behind. He doesn't feel super good. Don't get sick. It's Christmas. All right. So, Effingham, this is like. <laughs> It might be our last haul this year, actually, because today is Saturday, Christmas is, I don't know, we'll see about next week. Maybe it's iffy. All right, but just if for everybody that knows, 12 days of Christmas, tomorrow is the very last day. It's day number 12 of the 12 days of Dollar Tree Christmas. It has been so much fun. If you haven't seen them, you should go back and watch them. I will recap them all tomorrow, um, but it's just been, it's been, yeah, I know. I know, because I've been filming in the other room. I'm sorry, Effingham, you haven't been part of those, but you, you can be a part of today. All right, so today is holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. It is not a very big one. However, there are some fun little finds in this. Aren't there always, though? I mean, the shopping at the Dollar Tree is just like a, mm, such an experience to find those little nuggets of gold. Or, oh, yeah, anyway, it's fun. All right. So, since it's not a very big haul, but still, I'm going to bring it to you, and you're going to love it. If you are new to the channel, it's a Dollar Tree channel. I only do Dollar Tree hauls and Dollar Tree crafts, and all of my supplies are 100% Dollar Tree. So, no run into a thousand stores. And if you happen to like today, if you like me, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber and hit the notification bell. So, every time I upload, da, 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 da. I mean, I feel like we all hear that in our sleep. All right, let's start. As usual, I'm going to start with the food products that I bought. So, a couple of rebuys, which I'll go into first. The first rebuy is the Black Rifle Coffee Company um, Espresso espresso Triple Shots, these the Espresso 300s. So Black Rifle is not normally at the Dollar Tree. It has been as of late. I was trying to keep my hair all knotted up, you guys. I should have put a clip in. I didn't. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm just trying to keep it out of my way for now so I can do it later. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I found some more of them. I did not buy. They had the Berry Mocha. I didn't buy that one. I would got him quite a few in the beginning, and I was like, eh, 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 So this one's rich mocha, and this one's caramel vanilla. I'm sure those are going to be fine. All right, so that's a rebuy. Also a rebuy and a new buy. I found the MREs a couple weeks ago in the chocolate, but then I found the vanilla. So here's the thing. These have, like, like no sugar in them, so they're really good. And milk chocolate, vanilla milkshake. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yaks. My milkshake. Yeah, okay. Yes. Every time. <laughs> Thanks. Every time I hear the word milkshake. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yaks. Dun, dun. Again, whatever. All right. So the MREs, which are new there. Will they be there always? We don't know. And it's so funny because things come and go, right? Like the Alani things were all over the place and they're kind of disappearing now. Or the Minute Rice two packers were everywhere. They're gone now. I'm like always like when I find something I really like, I'm like, ah, I should buy a bunch of them. Okay, but let's see. Also rebuy the organic diced tomatoes. I buy these. I use them so much in cooking. Um, so it's a convenience buy. I'm not even sure it's a super good buy. But I mean, it's organic. Or is it? Is it just organic valley? I don't know. Okay. Gum. I haven't bought gum in a long time. I used to chew gum every single day. And um, the other day I was like, I really want a piece of gum. And I didn't have any. Anyway. So I decided to buy a couple packs. I like the little squares. They're like big chiclets. And um, and did you know that gum burns 11 calories an hour while you chew it? Yeah. Like if I did it for 10 hours a day, that's 110 calories. What? Yeah, I know. That's what I All right. And then um, baking powder, which I really love this can, this design on this little can. 
I, yes, it's very country. It's very farmhouse looking. And I was thinking like, oh my gosh, if you we were going to do like a food gift, like with a bunch of baking things, this is, would be really cute to put in it because it's so pretty. Just look at the pattern on that paper. Anyway, it's super pretty. Um, and so I grabbed it because I'm almost out of baking powder. That's why you buy baking powder because you're almost out, right? Okay. Moving right along. I also grabbed, I have already purchased the stir fry one, which I don't think I've tried yet, but I wanted to try the roasted potatoes because um, we don't buy a whole bunch of potatoes, but potatoes were like 67 cents a bag because it was the holiday. You know how that goes, right? Yeah, at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I know. No, we cannot take you to the grocery store. And so I, well, I'll grab this and maybe I'll make some potato wedges or something with it. It looks really good. Don't think it's particularly great buy because I feel like I could season my to my potato tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes for a lot less, but I'm gonna try it. So I'm also gonna see. <coughs> what? Yeah, so I grabbed that. Okay, and now some very, very new items. What is this? And let's try it right now. All right, so this is Willy Wallaby, um, the licorice. And you know, they have the licorice there all the time. I have never seen hot cinnamon, never. Hey babe, you wanna try hot cinnamon licorice? And like, oh my gosh, you should smell it. Whoa. Hot cinnamon, cinnamon flavored licorice. I had to. I was like, we have to try this. Are you trying it? Oh, yeah. I would think you would try it. I'll try this. Mm. It's very cinnamon and cinnamon-y. Yeah. Like, I need something to drink now. Mm. Mm. Very cinnamon. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? The little red, the red cinnamon. Not tamales. Not the tamales. The red cinnamon hard candy ones. But yeah, hot tamales. But the red, but the, the hard candy was cinnamon. I do remember. The red, the red do you guys all remember the red that. hard candy cinnamon? And that's what this is, except it's in licorice form. So if you really like cinnamon, here, there, I'm gonna give them Marcus because I won't be eating those. But they're really well ones. I thought, figured I had to try them for you guys. Okay, and then um, this is brand new. Never seen this before. Shata hot pepper sauce. Wait, what? This is wild fair. Look at the packaging again. If you guys were gonna do a food basket, even today you could run to Do Dollar Tree right now and do a beautiful food basket, trust me. So I just think this is absolutely stunning. So this is hot red peppers, vinegar, salt, processed in a facility that also processes nuts. So it's crazy, pepper sauce. <laughs> and it's packed for Wild Fair out of New York. Anyway, what is so pretty, the packaging is so pretty, but it's hot pepper sauce. Marcus, look at the top even. Marcus loves hot pepper sauce. So we'll be using this definitely in cooking. Oh my gosh, and eggs would probably be amazing. Scrambled eggs, don't you think? I think that'd be amazing. All right, so that's brand new. It's 10.5 ounces. I know we owe you guys a foodie fun day. We have Christmas stuff, stuff. We're probably still gonna try it anyway, just so you know. All right, and then this, which I'm hoping this is really good because I will be going back to buy more. This is Susquehanna. I don't know how to say this. Susquehanna Valley Harvest. Marinara sauce, 24 ounces. Like this is this is a big jar of marinara sauce for a buck 25. Wow. Now here's the thing, spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce. So you can buy the canned stuff in there, which is never as good as the jar stuff. It's not as big, but a jar thing of, of, of um, spaghetti sauce at the store on sale when they're having a sale is a buck 99. So this is a really good buy, but I didn't want to buy a ton without trying it. I mean like how bad can it be? You can always doctor it. Anyway. So I'll be trying that and I will make it with some zucchini. We gotta go get zucchini tomorrow for zucchini spaghetti. Um, a little bit healthier, of course. Uh, so keep your eye out for this because this is, I would imagine this is not gonna be a staple. This is a run, right? They got a bunch of them somehow. I imagine that this is also not gonna be a staple. Sometimes you can just sort of tell Marcus is reaching for the jarred foods. All right, and then this, which I have not, but Maybe I, I gotta look it up now. You guys can all look up. You should look it up right now, Marcus. This is as seen on TikTok and Instagram, pink sauce. Now, first of all, I went for um, pink, the, like my favorite, one of my favorite artists, pink. Cause every night I lie in bed, a million colors fill my head. Pink, but this is pink sauce. 
So this is from it's on USA far today. from, or it's on USA Today too. Okay, so from TikTok to table, TikTok. shock your taste yeah. buds with flavor and thrill. Taste Chef Pie's famous sweet and tangy sauce made vibrant with dragon fruit and spices. Are you ready to try the pink sauce that became an overnight internet, internet sensation? So it says pink sauce complements any dish, but is especially tasty paired with chicken wings, mm. sandwiches, hamburgers, salads, on pizza, on egg rolls, grilled meats, and for dipping veggies. So I think we will put this in the fridge and try it. So it's exclusively manufactured for Dave's Gourmet LLC out of California. And it's best by 10, 26 of 24. The, now here it's saying that the pink sauce resembles Pepto-Bismol, but that does not look like... No, they like mean the, the pink maybe so, is... No, no. I mean, they, oh, there's more than actually, one yeah, flavor. So it's uh, pretty popular right now. It's very popular. So, why is it at the Dollar Tree? I don't know. But I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to try it. All right. So, speaking of food, let's move on to the doggy food. Now, I buy Jack's. We all know that I buy Jack's, the Buffalo Water Ears. And so... I decided to, but here he comes. Like he knows, it's like you know the crinkle sound of a doggy treat. So I bought him these three. I have not bought these for him before. He was too little, um, but I just felt like this would be good. So I've got a uh, bacon flavored grain filled bone, peanut butter flavor filled bone, and chicken flavor filled bone. Which one should we give him, Marcus? Oh. I'm gonna let him pick it out. Come here, Jack, so you can pick out your treat. Come here, babies. You pick it out. You tell me which one you want. Peanut okay. Butter, Ready? Butter. Okay. Which one do you want? Which one? Which one do you want? Wait, do you want one? Or you keep look, you look that. Okay, we're giving you that yeah, one. Peanut butter, He's, the peanut butter. All right, we're going to oh, we open it up. Oh, we'll see what he thinks of it. Okay, we're going to do a dog tasting on camera here. Jax, let's taste your peanut butter dog filled bone and see what you think. His tail's wagging. You guys can't see his tail. He's like, blah, 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 blah. what am I getting? What am I getting? This is his Scrappy Doo collar because he looks like Scooby Doo. Really they don't want the dogs to get in him. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right, there we go. So let's see what Jax thinks. So just so you know that these are made in the USA. Can we smell the peanut butter? No. Can you smell? Oh, look at it. Looks like a great big noodle, doesn't it? Look, look, looks like a great big noodle filled it with. It smell like peanut butter. Noodle. Okay, he it's wants made it down. In Germany. Look, he wants it down. It says made in the USA. This one, the peanut butter is made in Germany. Oh, what? okay. He wanted down. It's a score. Oh, so this one's made in Germany. This one, these two are made in the USA. Why is the peanut butter made in Germany? Why? Yeah. It's the same stinking company. Yeah. And it's Green Briar, so yeah. this is this is they're they're gonna be there regularly. Okay. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas, Jax. There's your peanut butter filled thing. All right, let's keep moving on, moving right along. Uh, these are brand new in the Jot line, and I have started now collecting um, the Valentine's stuff and Easter stuff for the kids. So um, Moses and Scarlett opened up their box this morning. It was a big hit because <laughs> they're, they're, they had to do Christmas with us today. Anyway. Uh, so super exciting. These I think are absolutely adorable. How cute for a mm. Easter basket. Look at those colors, right? And so it's a notepad with a little poppet on it. I just thought they were kind of cute. So I just grabbed them tchotchke stuff to wrap up and send them in a box to have fun with. So started collecting the Easter and the Valentine stuff now. And you'll see my favorite thing I bought today. <sighs> and I'm, I'm like, are you kidding me? I grabbed it. Just wait till the end. You have to see this. Okay. And then in the um, the craft aisle, I only got one thing, and these are eye drop glasses. Now, here's what I was thinking. These feel like they would make perfect potion bottles for Halloween. So they're just little eye droppers. But if you were going to do water painting, have you ever done acrylic water painting where you put the acrylic and you drop the water um, splots down or even just drop an, another acrylic paint color down? So definitely going to use these probably in crafting, but also was thinking that they would be great for doing potion bottles at Halloween. Okay, and one little thing, I could not find the little squirt bottles that they sell in the crafting section, so I grabbed this little glass cleaner. I'll take the glass cleaner out because I need another squirt, squirting bo squirt bottle, little one for Mod Podging because I used my other one to do my vinegar and salt mixture for rusting galvanized tin stuff. So. Um, but I'm like, well, it's okay. It's a twofer. I'll just put the glass cleaner in my other glass cleaner bottle and use this, the squirt bottle. All right. So moving on.
in the cleaning aisle. Now, they, this is, I don't understand. This is a good buy, you guys. These are a good buy. I'm going to get you one of each to show you. I bought two each because, by the way, Jax is nowhere to be seen now. He has disappeared with that peanut butter bone. It's, he's gone. He'll be happy for hours. Okay, so they had these there. I bought some, um, I think, two hauls ago. And then I walked into this store and they had all these different scents and I was like, yes. So these are the wizard last up to 30 days. So it's not the short 15 hour one or whatever. So let's see, the scents are um, apple cinnamon. So very holiday. This one is winter pine house. There you go. And autumn breeze. So we're sort of out. I think autumn breeze might be what I got before. And then this one is vanilla cookies. I was like, I don't know why they're there, but those are a good buy. And I have these up like all, like I, yeah, I'm using stuff all the time. So I was super happy about that. Grab two of each of those just to put into my stash of the, of, of my wizard, my wizard stash. That sounds a little odd, but it's my fragrance stash. All right. And then we went to the health and beauty aisle and guess what? I found another Nanda guru. So Sharon Marcus sent me a TikTok. And I think it's the guy that started Nanda Guru. Nanda, Nanda, N Guru Nanda, sorry. And he was talking about his little pods and that they did a launch with Dollar Tree. So this is interesting. I didn't understand the products that launches with Dollar Tree and now it kind of makes sense. And they sold out right away, but he goes, don't worry, they're coming back in. And it was on his little pods that I've bought a ton of and they're good for like three months for, there's essential oils in there that keep your toothbrush clean. I gotta tell you guys, it's amazing. If you find them, buy them. And I'm mad because I should have bought a bunch for the grandkids. So I will next time I see him. But then I found their charcoal toothbrush. I found their whitening toothbrush. And I found their bristle cleaning one or something. So this one, though, is medium. And the other ones were soft. Now, I prefer a little bit harder toothbrush. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get these. And you get two in here. So this is the Guru Nanda Basics Dew Drop Toothbrush brush with Ended Rounded Bristles. So I don't know. I just love, and I love their packaging. So <clears throat> if you have a chance, go look on um, TikTok, look for, for Guru Nan Nanda, and you can hear him, <coughs> sorry, <guys. coughs> tell the story of the pods and putting them into the Dollar Tree. Thanks, Sharon, by the way. I really appreciate that. All right. But then I found these, and I was like, oh, it's perfect timing. Yay. So a box of Kleenex with, are we ready? Menthol. And we're going to open one right here. By the way, I think the box is really pretty. It's the only design they have, but it's got menthol in it. Um, when I checked out, the girl was like, oh. And I go, yeah, they're new. I said, but they're not in your tissue aisle. Don't look there. They're in your medicine aisle, which is where they were. I don't, I don't smell menthol, I got to say. You'd think you would smell it, right? I would think. It's just a normal box of tissues. There's um, 74 in here. I feel like that's a low amount, right? Hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not getting menthol. Babe, do you get any menthol out of this? I'm not getting menthol. That's so disturbing. No. Ultra soft scented. Not, not, nope. Don't bother. There, unless I got a dud box, but what are the odds? Nothing. No menthol. What, were they dated? Did they have to be used by a certain date? I mean, mm, anyway. So not impressed. Don't, not impressed. But then I found a very useful item, which we do not have any of, which I will be putting this into probably our, um, our Tahoe for when we travel to the property. And look what, so don't anybody, don't anybody say it, but I know. Oh, it's like, eh, I'm not buying, I don't buy that crud. Come on, pop open, you stinker. You would think, how does it go open? There we go. Hey, it works. It's thing? just, yeah, yeah, buck 25 for an umbrella. And well, I got it for the car. I was like, hey, you know, it's definitely only a one person umbrella, but, um, but not bad. And it's got a little clip thing that you just clip down and it goes back down. I don't know. I thought that was pretty good for a buck 25. So I was like, okay, we're going to have an umbrella in the Tahoe for, <laughs> now I gotta put it back down, get it away, right? Okay, so anyway, so they have umbrellas, that's new. I think they had blue, and I got the black. Was there another color? I don't know. 
anyway, not bad, right guys? There we go, and I'm gonna fold it all back up. It's gonna go right back to where it was, sort of, not exactly, but it'll do, voila, umbrella. And this is the, my second to last favorite thing that I found. I was like, yes, I love this. Love this. So they are calling this a wire pencil holder. No, it's not. It's a base for a lantern. Hello, don't you see it? And I'm seeing like nautical with this for sure. Um, I mean, just all kinds of things. But I bought it, throwing it in my lantern stash, which I believe I will start the very first week of the new year. Now, I'm not going to be doing crafts next week. Um, we are uh, busy, busy, busy at work. We're moving at work. And so we're going to have longer days. So no crafts next week, you guys. I'm taking a week off. But then I'll be back after the New Year's. And I'm going to first start out with my lantern series. And then I'm going to get right into decorating my kitchen here with Farmhouse. So super excited about that. Finally. I know. F I know. F yes. I'm going to do some cow crafts. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's going to be so fun. Okay. And then somewhere in there, I'll probably do one Valentine's video. I don't know, but that's where I'm headed. So this is a wire pencil holder, the, the copper. This is that copper line, which they now have like tape dispensers and all these things. But I gotta say, I immediately saw this as a lantern and I was like, yes, I think it's super cool. Heck, you could just add a rope handle on this and put a candle in it and it would look so good. Or you could run one one run of, um, of uh, nautical twine right through here and put a candle in it. <gasps> Maybe I should do a quick craft for you guys. I will. Hold on. We'll do a quick craft at the end. How about that? All right. Let's change it up a little bit. Now, this is my favorite thing I found. And I'm putting it away to send off to two of the grandkids because, well, because. Anyway, I walk in and I'm like, it's not even Christmas yet. Christmas is still a few days away, right? And I don't know when, hey, Google, what day is Easter this year? Let's find that out. Easter will be on Sunday, March 31st, 2024. Okay, it's March 31st. So it's early this year. Okay, so we're going to have an early Easter. March 31st is Easter. But still, Easter is coming out. Now, I saw these items and I was like, I got to get them because they won't be there. I know they won't be there. So here's what I got. At first, I saw these. I was like, you got to be kidding me. But I think they're so cute. Now, you have to understand that Scarlett and Moses have lights all the way around. Both of them do in their rooms, like the multicolored lights and the dances to their music and all that. So they do a lot with lights. And I was like, yeah, this is so cute. I just have to check them out. It's a string of peeps, lights. What? Yeah, I know. $5. So it was in the Dollar Tree Plus. And $5, I hate to spend that much. But I was like, these are not going to stick around. These are going to be gone so fast. So I'm like, I have to. I just have to pull the trigger and get them. So I did. So I got one each of those. And then I found these. And I was like, you're kidding me. Like, you're, ki you're killing me, Smalls. Bam. And they light up. Now, I should have put some. Maybe I will. I should have put some. No, I'm not going to. Because I'm just packing them away to send to them for Easter. So I just thought this was so cute. So not a stuffed. They don't get a stuffed bunny. They get a light up bunny and some light up bunny lights. So obviously... I'm going to give them a, a peep-themed Christmas thing, right? I mean, Easter thing, and I just think they're so cute. So, and remember, I got these, too. So, following those, those, just doing those peep sort of colors, I think it'll be really cute. Do you not? Do you, I mean, I'm, I'm, I love these. I love these. I think they're so cute. So, I had to grab them, and they won't be around, but Easter's coming out. Here it comes. It's coming out. So, that means we're going to have, bam, Valentine's. I think Valentine's is coming out already. So we're going to have Valentine's, St. Patty's Day, and Easter are all just going to be back-to-back -back at the Dollar Tree store starting right away in 2024. I'm like, what, 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 what? I know, I know, I know. All right. So we're gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, in a, just, it's a flash. I'm going to be back doing, I'm going to make you a quick craft in a flash, like right now. So first, I'm going to give it a handle. And I'm just going to go through where the center one is. And I'm gonna loop it through so it doesn't slide up or down. Hope you guys understand what I'm saying there. So I'm just nodding, but I need to knot to the outside, by the way. When um knotting to the outside so that the tails of this will hang on the outside. I hope that kind of makes sense to you guys. And I'm gonna tie it pretty tight. And then I'm gonna go to this side. And we're doing the same thing. We're gonna go, um, we're looping. 
over that and then around so that it'll stay here. And then when I knot, I'm knotting so that these go to this side because if I did it this way, then these would go to the inside, okay? So I'm knotting, pulling it through to the outside. And then I'm just gonna pull pretty tightly on this. Okay, so now I have two, I've got my little handle, which can sort of hang down or stand up, whatever you want. This side still has a little tape on it, so I'm gonna cut that a little short. And then I'm gonna sort of unwind my little tails. I'm gonna cut this one a little shorter and unwind my little tails. Just to give it sort of a finished um, look, I guess. And of course I can burn my string if I want to. All right, so now I have that. Now I'm gonna go back to my, this is, to, ah, did I say that you guys? This is two strands, okay? It's a nautical rope that I, that I removed a third of it. And now I'm gonna start weaving this through my, um, the, you know, the pencil holder is what they're calling it. I'm not calling it a pencil holder because it's a lantern for me. And I'm just gonna give it, it's, this is just a simple little decoration, right? Um, just to give it some character. And I'm gonna pull quite a bit through because I think I'm actually gonna go around it twice. I have to pull more through as we go. So there's once. The other thing is too, is I could, ah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. See, this is crafting 101, you guys. It changes as you go, right? I'm not gonna weave it. I don't wanna weave it. I'm just gonna wrap it. I like the look better. So now I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna end up tying it. Um, if I don't have any hot glue with me right now, so I'll probably just end up tying it, but I'm just gonna wrap this one, two, three times and then we'll just probably knot it here yeah <laughs> if i had the glue i could just glue it but i don't so that's okay we're just gonna give it a nice little knot right here look see it's got the little twine around it and we'll Tie that pretty tight, knocking things off as I go here. Cut these off, cut these off. And I've got my handle, which this one just doesn't wanna, I must have wrapped it differently. Okay, and then I went and got some beads here. So I was thinking I would add some beads and maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I just thought the square beads would look kind of cool because it's a square piece. And I was thinking that I would just, oh my goodness, Chris. I would just hang some off of it here, but um, maybe I won't right now. But anyway, you could, you could do that. So just is so simple. Then I thought maybe I would give it a little nautical by throwing on a Again. By throwing on, you could throw a little anchor on here, right? So many things you could do. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it right now because this just gives you an idea and then stick a candle in it. And I just got, it's a Dollar Tree candle. It's just a plain jar one. And so I thought that would look really good. I'm gonna fix this though because this one keeps going inwards and it's just because I wrapped it the wrong way here. So I need to come around and wrap it this way. Sometimes when you're doing stuff like this, you might have to re-knot a couple of times to get it to be the way that you want it. You know, it doesn't, doesn't always come out the way that you want it. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna do this again. Pulling this through. And 
Yeah, it just keeps wanting to go back that way. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna cut it short again. That actually looks a little bit better. Okay, and let's just light our candle and we can see what it looks like. Okay, so, ready? Let's light her. Oh, this came out, you guys, this really is really super cute and so easy. It'd be a cute little gift to give somebody. So here's it is with the knot, but of course you could do the just hot glue it and have um, the no knots on it, right? But so simple, so cute. And then I would probably burn all my string around this thing. Well, I'm just playing with fire today. Yeah, just to clean it up a little bit. Okay, anyway, simple, right? I'm just, oh my gosh, this came out really cute. Okay, I love it. It's so simple. It's so simple. And you could certainly spray paint this black, but I kind of like the copper. I just think it's cool. All right, that's one way that you could do it. There's obviously other ways. All right, guys, that's it. So everybody, have a great day, a great week, a great life, and oh my gosh, have a merry, 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 merry Christmas. I'll see you back here for a happy new year, um, hopefully before the new year, but either way, merry Christmas, happy new year. God bless you all. Oh, no, I'll see you back here tomorrow for the final number 12 of the 12 days of christmas on the 12th day of christmas my true love gave to me i think it's 12 pipers piping is that it 12 pipers piping it's marcus is it 12 pipers piping i think so anyway that's not what i did though just have to come back and see all right guys everybody from your singing crafty crafter we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Now go to your Dollar Tree because Easter is here. <laughs> All right. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Bye, besties.